big moment for Kansas City, and it means a lot to so many, you know. So many fans are just down here taking it all in, and some fans have turned their love for football into something bigger by collecting and trading cards. The industry actually worth, wait for it, $98 billion. $98 billion with a B. Our reporter Gian Kim joins us live. Gian, I know you met a group that's serious about these cards. Absolutely, Kevin. One of my biggest takeaways today, this is clearly more than a hobby. For a lot of these people, it's a source of income. For some, it's a social life. In fact, there's going to be dozens of people right here in this space tonight for a trading event. I had a chance to talk to some of the owners earlier on today, and they tell me they are ready. They are excited to see the impact of the NFL draft on their foot traffic. Uh, so, I mean, the, the draft being here is just, it's been awesome. It's, it's been a great boost. Tyler Gratwick and his father Trey are making the most of every opportunity. It's not often one of the biggest stages in sports happen right in your backyard. I mean, like I said, it's, it's our audience that's coming to town here. I would assume that it would double to triple a normal weekend. The father-son duo made sure to stock their shelves and check it twice. They say an event like the NFL Draft will not only bring in regulars, but the rookies too. It's a form of investment that you can hold and it's more fun than a stock or a mutual fund or something like that, it's tangible. I think the other reason is people like to, to bet on sports players' performance. Jordy Waldman has been collecting Panini cards since he was five years old. One of the proudest moments was getting his hands on a rare Mahomes, one of only 299 in existence. It was really exciting. Um, I, I've been waiting for it for so long and when I had it, it was like, it was the card that completed my collection at the time. The 2023 NFL Draft experience is sponsored by Panini America this year, one of the most popular trading card brands in the world. We caught up with three friends from Pittsburgh, Kansas, who hope to walk away with some autographs. We've been waiting for this forever. I mean, we've been talking about it since last year. Uh, we really didn't know if we was going to come last minute. We was like, you know what, it's free. We're going to give it a shot. Troy Sullivan says he's the proud owner of thousands of autographs and Panini trading cards. He's found his community today along all these lines of collectors alike. When you love something, you don't mind waiting for it. You heard him say it, when you love something, you don't mind waiting for it. You know, Kevin, I put out a call earlier this week hoping to find some unique collectors right here in our area, and I was just overwhelmed by the influx of responses that I got in my inbox, so much so that I had to have my own vetting process and ask them to send me proofs of their collections just so that I know that they're legit. And those three guys that you saw in my story, they're the ones that I had to meet. Kevin, 